The purpose of this program is to provide basic instruction in the proper and safe operation of Landol's 400 series semi-trailers. To obtain a complete understanding of operational and safety issues, all drivers, operators, and maintenance personnel are required to thoroughly read the operator's manual. Landol 400 series trailers require a hydraulic power source to activate the traveling axle undercarriage and tilt bed functions. Hydraulic specifications are 2500 PSI maximum operation pressure, 17 gallons per minute operating flow, 30 gallon oil tank capacity, 3 quarter inch hydraulic lines are required, a wet kit pressure relief valve is required. The trailer's pressure line is on the street side. The return line is on the curb side. Operation of the trailer in a manner other than as specified by this program and the operator's manual could result in costly damage to the trailer, personal injury, or death. Drivers are strongly encouraged to follow all industry recommended procedures and safety practices during all phases of truck and trailer operation. Before hookup, it is important to do a complete walk-around inspection of the trailer. Look for oil leaks and hanging wires or hoses. Check the tires for proper inflation and excessive wear. Check the oil in the hubs and look for structural damage to the trailer and gooseneck. After coupling, check the following. Hydraulic and air hose connections, air and ABS brake systems for proper operation, Check the running and signal lights along with the rear impact guard. Make sure the trailer's undercarriage is fully back in transport position. Inspect the winch and cable system to ensure safe operation. Also, make sure the landing gear are raised and secured in transport position. Operators will need to verify that the necessary straps, chains, and boomers to secure the load are on the truck or in the trailer's toolbox. Make sure the trailer suspension is fully aired up before operating the trailer on streets or highways. Safety is your first concern during all phases of trailer operation. Do not load any payload that will overload any component of the trailer or result in an unsafe condition. It is important that the truck and trailer are parked in a straight line on a solid level surface with the truck's parking brakes set and the trailer brakes released. If the winch cable is connected to the lower deck, activate the winch, reel out some slack cable and unhook the cable. To put an empty trailer in load position, use the remote control or the axle control lever on the control panel to move the undercarriage forward 5 to 8 feet or just behind the trailer's center of gravity. To ensure the trailer does not rock back, keep the undercarriage behind the trailer's center of gravity. Then raise the front of the trailer bed until the approach plate rests firmly on the ground. If the bed is fully raised but the approach plate does not contact the ground, move the axles forward until contact is made. Now alternate between moving the undercarriage forward and lowering the trailer bed. In load position, the undercarriage is forward as far as it will go and the approach plate is in contact with the ground. Always load at the lowest load angle possible. Now drive or winch the load onto the trailer. It is important that the load is positioned to the front of the trailer deck and centered side to side. If the load was driven on, Make sure the vehicle is in low gear and the parking brake is securely set before leaving the vehicle. As a safety measure, attach the winch cable and pull it snug against the load. Now secure the load to the trailer. Double check all chains and boomers to make sure everything is secure. At this point, it's time to put the loaded trailer into transport position. During this process, it is critical that you control the trailer's center of gravity. Warning! When a load is parked on both the upper and lower deck, adjustments to securing devices will be required as the trailer deck is moved into transport position. To put the loaded trailer into transport position, alternate between raising the trailer deck and moving the undercarriage towards the rear. As you raise the deck, the winch cable must be reeled out incrementally 
to prevent the load from being pulled forward as the bed is raised. Do not allow the approach plate to leave the ground when moving the axles towards the rear and do not let the rear axle leave the ground when raising the bed. Keep the weight of the load distributed between the approach plate, the axles, and the tractor's fifth wheel. Once the load center of gravity is in front of the trailer axles, you can slowly lower the trailer deck and reel in the winch cable. When the deck is fully lowered, pull the winch cable tight against the load and move the undercarriage all the way to the rear. Caution! When loading or unloading, do not run the truck engine above 1000 RPM. Higher RPMs can cause the hydraulic oil to overheat and could damage the truck and trailer's hydraulic system. To unload, position the tractor and trailer in a straight line on a solid level surface. Set the truck's parking brake and trailer brakes before exiting the cab. If your load is centered on the trailer deck, move it forward as far as practical. Reset the payload vehicle's parking brake, re-secure the load, and then release the trailer brakes. Activate the axle control lever on the control panel or the wireless remote and move the undercarriage forward 5 to 8 feet or just behind the loaded trailer's center of gravity. Caution! To ensure that the trailer does not rock back and raise the truck's rear axles off the ground, keep the undercarriage behind the loaded trailer's center of gravity. Now, slowly raise the trailer deck to full tilt position or until the approach plate rests firmly on the ground. Remember to incrementally reel out the winch cable as you raise the deck. Once the trailer is in full tilt position, the approach plate should contact the ground. If it does not, move the undercarriage forward just enough to initiate ground support for the approach plate. Again, alternate between lowering the trailer deck and moving the undercarriage forward. Keep the weight distributed between the approach plate, the undercarriage, and the fifth wheel. The trailer is in position to unload when the undercarriage is as far forward as it will go and the approach plate is resting on the ground. Before unloading, make sure the parking brake of the payload vehicle is set. Then remove the securing devices and unhook the winch cable. Now carefully back the vehicle off the trailer. When the payload is well clear of the trailer, return the trailer to transport position. Alternate between raising the trailer deck and moving the undercarriage towards the rear. Once the trailer's center of gravity is in front of the trailer axles, you can slowly lower the trailer deck and reel in the winch cable. When the deck is fully lowered, move the undercarriage all the way to the rear and pull the winch cable tight against the lowered deck. If you dumped air from the trailer suspension to facilitate unloading, turn the dump valve off and air up the suspension before operating the trailer on streets or highways. When parking a trailer, make sure the undercarriage is not forward of transport position. To provide Department of Transportation approved underride protection, the undercarriage needs to be back as far as it will go with the undercarriage rollers fully seated in the roller pockets. Drivers, you are responsible for your safety and the safety of others when operating the trailer. As you go about your job, be aware of potential problems and do your best to avoid them. Always think safety.